up, right? What do they give me? A thumbs up. Okay. Hit the subscribe button, comment. First person get a hundred comments. We're doing a giveaway for free <laughs> oven mitts. <laughs> you please keep that in the video. Help me! Okay. Free <laughs> oven mitts. A hundred comments. It's so it's awesome. Free oven mitts. <laughs> you didn't turn it off. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> It's good. It is good. Not too sweet, right? He just hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Baking Diva. Well, we have two surprises today. I have two of my grandsons here. Yes, I told them to smile. To the left on the end is Kyle. And Kyle, they're being silly now. I knew this was going to happen. How, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. 20 years old. Can you believe it? And this guy in the middle... Many of you know him from when he used to be in a lot of my videos, although now he's too busy. But he did agree to be in today's. Now this is Lucas. Lucas and Kyle are brothers. Lucas, how old are you? Twelve. Twelve. But when will you be thirteen? January. January, so that's not too far off, right? Okay. Now, today we are making for you. Well, let me tell you, this is a chocolate peanut butter pound cake pudding and it has a hack and this is the hack we're starting off with I had a frozen Sara Lee this is the family size classic pound cake so you don't have to bake your cake this is so delicious and I know many of you like peanut butter and chocolate this guy doesn't <laughs> Lucas does not like peanut butter, right, Lucas? No, but Kyle does. And now Kyle's going to laugh when I say this. Put your hand away from your face. Kyle's girlfriend is away at college right now in Connecticut. Hi, Jenna. Say hi to Jenna. Hi, hi Jenna. And Jenna is allergic to peanuts. Peanut butter and what, all tree nuts? Yeah, I will not be sampling this. Lucas will be the taste test. No, he will be because she's not here. Doesn't matter. And let me tell you a funny it. story and I'll make it really quick. I know what's coming. Kyle, Kyle is very, very conscientious about having any kind of peanut butter around Jenna because one time I was watching one of these shows on TV, you know where they're like um, reality yeah. shows and they're in the emergency room and this girl was laying in the bed and she was so sick, the doctors could not figure out what was wrong with her. They did every test. Well, long story short, it turned out that her boyfriend, who was with her, had had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then I guess they smooched, right, <laughs> She got like the peanut butter from his mouth in hers and she got very sick. So ever since I told Kyle that story, he's literally paranoid. If she's home for the week or the weekend and he's here. Imagine something happens, I'm gonna get first degree homicide. <laughs> he doesn't he, he stays away, which is very good. Uh, when we go on vacations, right? Kyle will call up the place for <laughs> Kyle, and he will say to them, "Do you? how do you cook your hot dogs? And if they say peanut oil, we don't go there. So he really takes care of his girlfriend. Give me five, Kyle. It's really good. I'm just kidding you. So anyway, let's get on with the show. All right. The first thing we need to do is defrost our pancake. Now, I did that. And Kyle is going to be cutting some things for me He's over here. So I'm going to flip this onto... The cutting board. Let me get over here. Okay, let's turn it this way. My hands are clean. Now, Kyle, do you know the difference between horizontal and vertical? Yes. So, what's horizontal? If you had to cut this Side horizontally. Sideways. sideways. Okay. So, according to these directions, what we're going to do is you are going to, he's going to slice this down the middle horizontally. So we have two pieces of the pound cake. Try to make it as straight as you can. You can hold the cake. Take your time. Watch over here. You're going over in a slant. Very good. Go all the way down to the bottom. 
Okay, now place them both like this on the cutting board. Okay, next what he's going to do is I have a jar here of Jiffy. You want to use creamy peanut butter. You can use any brand you want. I'm going to pass this over to Kyle. If you're allergic to peanuts, with, use soybean butter. With this tablespoon. Now, Kyle, I want you to put want you to put three tablespoons of peanut butter on that one, and three on that so one. Three, so. And with that knife, I want you to gently spread the peanut butter all over there. Don't do it too so hard because we don't want to break it. Oh, I need the spoon. Oh, sorry about that. Here you go. So so far, this is easy, right? And don't worry, we'll find some things for you to do. Yeah, I haven't done anything. Yeah, you can use Minecraft. that. Yeah, three. So put one on each end and one in the middle. You love peanut butter, don't, don't you, Kyle, though? Yes. I do, too. We love it. So just think how much he loves his little sweetie pie because he oh, gave up peanut butter finger. for her. <laughs> Getting on my finger. Lick it off. Burn. Okay. And now you can turn the board around and do the other piece. <laughs> All right, you can pass the peanut butter back over here. All right. Do you need the spoon again? I'll take that. Do you and need then, it? No. <laughs> now, pass me over the peanut butter, put the lid on it. Help me! <laughs> okay. Now, gently spread, because you don't want to break the cake. Very good. See how he's doing that? Kyle, hold this board up a minute. Hopefully that won't slide off. Just so you can show them. Hold it still. See how he's spreading the peanut butter on here? Peanut butter's falling. Okay. Now, Lucas, here's a job for you. We're going to make this because it's it's a it's a a pound cake pudding. So I'm going to make it in this um, ceramic baking dish. So Lucas, I need you to spray the inside of this dish. Spray the bottom. Yeah, got it. And the sides. Be careful, don't yeah, get it all over the place. <laughs> but not that much. We have a lot in there. Let me just do this side. Okay. How's it coming, Kyle? Pretty good. Good? Kyle? Yeah. Okay, now with this sharp knife here, let me take that. You're going to cut these into two inch by one inch squares. So test one out on the end, about two inches by one inch. All right, you're going to do both of them like that until they're all done. Now, Lucas, I have a job for you. Let's move this baking dish out of the way for now. Kyle, wait, Kyle, that's awfully thin. They don't look like two inch by one inch. Not done. Kyle, can I have the, a bowl next to you and the whisk? Yeah, make the others bigger. That's too small. Lucas, in here, I'm going to give Lucas two boxes of chocolate instant pudding. Lucas, you can open them and put them in this bowl. I cut them. Okay. And now while Lucas is doing that, Kyle, I'm going to hand you the baking dish. Here you go. And you are going to take just half of that and place them all around nicely in the baking dish. Half what? Like one side. Oh, like one side? That's yes. Just one of the pieces. Like that? Yeah, just place them all. They don't have to be perfect. Just, you know, place them all around. Right. You don't have to put them in lines. In fact, you really shouldn't put them in lines. Just place them all around. Okay, Lucas, you got the two boxes in there? All right. Now, we are going to add to this, and I'll let you pour it in, three cups of chocolate milk. So pour that in there, Lucas, gently, so it doesn't splash all over. Kyle, you can put some sideways. Yeah. Here's your whisk. 
Do it so it doesn't splash all over. Mm -hmm. These kids should be professionals. I've been baking with them since they were little. What's going on over there? Did you do no, half no, of the loaf? Yeah, right here. On your nose. No. <laughs> Not half of one loaf. You have two loaves. Oh, half. So I want you to put one loaf in. And, and make them all go different ways. And you should use your right hand. Remember how Grandma taught you how to whisk? That's it. I did this in bowls. Okay. Just spread them all in a single layer in there. Not like that. Just place them. Isn't that messy? Well, okay. Hold it up so people can see the dish. Hold it up gently. That's just one half of the pound cake spread with the peanut butter and the cut and the pieces put in the baking dish. I have in here semi-sweet chocolate morsels. Kyle, open this up and put a half a cup in here. How long do I mix this for? Hold the bowl, that's a good idea, and then just until it's all the, bump, the, the lumps are out of it. Half a cup and where? Just put it in that cup for now on. For now, I mean, for now. Wait, don't pause video, I'm testing. Either way, it's really green. Okay, now Kyle, this should be over here. Is now Kyle, you're going to sprinkle that half a cup of morsels all around the top of those. Okay, let me see that for a minute, Lucas, and see if you have it ready. Right. Now, and I will put the directions in the more box for you. Hold that up, Kyle, so they can see it. Hopefully you can see what he's doing here. And I'll put some pictures in for you because something tells me you're going to need them. Let's recap. <laughs> we had the pound cake. Kyle cut it in half horizontally. He spread each half with three tablespoons of creamy peanut butter, and then he cut everything into about two inch by one inch squares. And uh, he put them in the spray dish and sprinkled a half a cup of chocolate morsels on it. Now Lucas mixed up the two boxes of instant chocolate pudding. Now Lucas, I'm going to give you a spoon and I want you to spoon this pudding all over the top of this. Make sure everything's covered. I think I have a spoon for you here. Why don't we just put everything in here? No, that's not how you do it. Here, go ahead, Lucas. Let me Okay, good job, Lucas. Make sure you put it all around. Now, Kyle, when he gets done with this, then you're gonna put the other half of your pound cake on top of all of the pudding. Wait, I put everything in? Yeah, make sure you get in the corners. Yep. This is going to be decadent and rich. Cool. Let me see. What are you doing? Why do you have to make that noise? We're filming. Oh my gosh. Gently. So anyone that likes chocolate and peanut butter is definitely going to um, like this dessert. And Kyle can eat it today. And his dad is over there watching this video laughing at us. He's drooling. And he likes peanut butter and chocolate. So get that all in there, Lucas. Very good job. See, that's perfect. Put it on there gently, get it in the corners. There, no more. If you're still with us, watch for some outtakes because they're doozies with these two. <laughs> I put this on top. No, not yet. He's not done. He has a little more pudding in there. Okay. All right, that's good enough. Do you want to lick the spoon, anyone? 
Lay off, off camera. Or off camera. Okay, let me have that. Now, Kyle, spread them all around, not in a row. Put your little pieces of the rest of the pound cake on top of the pudding. Let me move this out of the way. You have to bake this or not? Yes. We gotta bake it. Now you're going to get us another half a cup of chocolate morsels and you're just going to sprinkle them all over the top. Whoa, baby. And I'm going to go get some foil. The end, right. I'm going to get some foil and then we're going to cover this dish and we are going to bake this in the oven for how many minutes? 50 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, we're going to uncover it and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, good, Kyle. Thank you. All right, let me move this over by Lucas a little bit so he can put the foil on it. Foil Lucas, so it covers the dish. Look, <laughs> at rotting. Cover the dish. Cover the dish with foil and, you know, put around all the sides. I'm going to put this in the oven. No, crump it around. Crump it around like that. Okay. Yeah, that works. It's, yeah. So put this in the oven for 50 minutes if you're still with us after all of this. I'll be back, show you what we do next, and then our favorite part. What is it, kids? Eating. The taste testing, right? Not for this. Not for yeah. this. Well, you don't want to Okay, I'm back. This baked for 50 minutes. The kids are taking a little break, but don't worry. They'll be back for the taste testing. So I'm gonna take the, oh my goodness. Oh my. I took the foil off this. Oh, I can't even lift it up because it's heavy. Let me see. Can you see this? Oh my gosh. Got three minutes. Okay, now it's done in the oven, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter and put it on the top um, because it's so hot that this peanut butter is gonna melt. My hands are clean, don't worry. Don't leave me comments. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to sprinkle on there a little bit of chocolate syrup, just over the top. Pretty. This is looking good. It's so hot right now that we're gonna eat our dinner. And then as soon as we're done with dinner, we're gonna come back and we are going to do our taste testing. I think that's enough peanut butter. And let me just sprinkle a little bit of that chocolate syrup on there. That's what it says to do. Oh my goodness, is this decadent. I happen to be using, um, I have what's called uh, Smucker's Sunday Syrup. You can use any chocolate syrup you want. I'm not gonna put a lot of this on. The recipe actually calls for two tablespoons. So I'm just gonna drizzle it on, just like that. Oh boy, sure makes a nice presentation, woo! Okay, so I am going to take a picture to insert in the video for you and uh, I'll be back to do a taste testing, so don't go away. Oh my goodness, look at this. This looks absolutely, I don't know what other word to say. Decadent, rich, delicious. Let me zoom in. Oh my. Yummy, yummy in the tummy. Okay, the time has come for us to do our taste testing. I hope you're all still here. Kyle, would you like to pass over your bowl? Sure. I don't know what this is. This is what my grandson's doing now, this. Anybody want to rent them out for the day? 
<laughs> I'm taking $50 exceptions to cuddle. All right, let's give you this corner. Oh my gosh. Holy moly's. Is that enough to start you out? Yes, that's holy, a perfect Holy, holy, look at this. Scott, do you want you some? Are so Not yet. Not yet? Oh, I'm going to have this corner here. Uh, oh, this looks really good. Hold on. Mmm. 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 Granny, I can see this looks good. It does, doesn't it? All right, Kyle, let's dig in and see what we think. You don't want any Looky Dukes? No. no? It's so good. <laughs> Get out of here, Kyle. No, seriously, what does this taste like? It's good. You didn't even eat yeah, it. Yeah, I did. I ate it. You're fooling around, right? No, no, it's good. Can't you just be nice to my uh, subscribers? Yes. He's pretending. I'm not going to eat it on the camera when my girlfriend's allergic to peanut butter. She's in Connecticut! I don't care. You're in New Jersey. <laughs> sweet as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like really, really sweet. It's so good. It's good. 10 out of 10. Hey, shout out to Jenna. <laughs> Jenna! He doesn't even want to eat the peanut butter yeah. when you're not here. Dolores is sunk. No, no, some. he doesn't want it now. We're going to have it later. All right. Well, I think it's very good. It's good. So, it's got that. The pudding is thick in it. And the cake is soft, right, Kyle? Don't encourage him. Show her, show her. You do. Not on video. It's very it's good. Clip it's clip not too time. sweet. It's a nice combination of peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah, it's really good. Follow the Baking Diva on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> if after this video... Your channel is going to get suspended, we'll be back next <laughs> week. Want, if after this video you still want to subscribe to my channel, feel free. It's not always this crazy. <laughs> See what I mean? And uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Love you all. My grandsons aren't always this crazy either, but... You know, they're probably showing off because they're on camera. <laughs> talking behind the camera. <laughs> oh, now my son is doing this. It's time to go. All right. See you all soon, everybody. Love you. Toodles. Give me a thumbs up, right? What do they give me? A thumbs up. Okay. Hit the subscribe button, comment. First person to get 100 comments, we're doing a giveaway for a free <laughs> no, ultimates. No. <laughs> you please keep that in the video? Help me! Okay, bye, everybody. Free.